Hello everyone. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video and got anything posted. I do have some new content that'll be coming out. I've got a few of them um, that I'm lining up. Um, I've got one today that I will be posting. I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of back story and kind of uh, address some of the comments that we've gotten about the neighbor from hell and the videos um, with the elderly couple and their surveillance cameras. I just want to say, first of all, this home that they do live in is also a commercial property too. It is zoned for business. Um, the gentleman in the video, um, the older gentleman, actually runs a, con you know, like a contractor construction type thing. He's pretty well retired at this point in time. And I can say I actually do know these people. Um, I'm very close to the family. Uh, matter of fact, they're my parents. Um... They've lived in this neighborhood for over 30 years. I grew up in this home um, along with my four younger siblings. All of us were girls um, to kind of address some of the video, uh, other videos that I've posted um, with him being called names and, you know, inappropriate things. Um, this is a very small town. Um, I think I think there's maybe 1,000, 1,200 people, maybe not even that at this point in time um, altogether for uh, the township itself. Um, it's changed over the years. You, you know, um, used to be that you could trace, uh, families back for generations. Um, a lot of those have, you know, they grew up, they moved away, um, you know, and then of course their, their parents and grandparents and all that, you know, either have passed away or they still live in the town or, um, outside township limits, uh, of the city itself. Um, so kind of to address like, oh, the, there was a conf, uh, comment about it being kind of a junky Sanford and Son. Actually, it's a very nice home, um, but you have to keep in mind um, the truck that people are kind of, you know, making fun of actually does run. It is a dump truck. Yes, it's an older model. It's not new. No bells and whistles there, um, but it's bought, paid for it. It's insured. It's used still. It's plated. Um and as far as like some of the other stuff in like that very first video from, you know, that I posted Neighbors from Hell, um, some of that stuff when that gentleman came out of the truck, the younger man yelling and cussing um, at my father, my father was actually loading things because that was from a job prior and he was loading it to take away and have hauled off um, for scrap metal. Um, and, and that's literally what he was doing. This young gentleman is actually mad because he was running a trucking business from his home. And I will just say this, and it's kind of petty maybe, but he was not zoned. He did not go before the board. He did not get the permits, um, the permission, any of that stuff um, to run the business out of his house, um, which he probably could have been done very easily since my parents had already built the groundwork 26, 27 years prior um, but he was upset because the property where that dump truck sits is actually my parents' property. Um, it's directly in front of their home. It's, it's part of it. They maintain it and he wanted them to move. Um, so he could park his stuff there. And my father said, no, I, I need this space. Uh, we, I have customers that still come. I, you know, I use this. I got to keep this equipment here, whatever. So, all right, we're going past that. So in today's video, I mean, they've had no problems out of neighbors until the neighbor from hell moved in. And he just kind of keeps the pot stirred. He likes to drink and party, which that's fine. We all go through that. We all do it. But I mean, I remember doing it, but I didn't cause problems for my neighbors, um, nor did I lash out um, at them. But it just seems like the ones that have moved in, they just like to stir up trouble. Um, they keep it going. And as soon as it stops, more starts. So you'll see in this video, you'll see the young man. Actually, it's kind of dark out. It's like five something in the morning when it starts. Um, the young man, he's getting ready to go to work, which is great. I'm happy for him. He's working. He's got a job. Um, hopefully that's helping him. Um, and... You see him getting everything ready, getting ready to leave. And there's a house back. You can kind of see behind his truck um, on across the street. And you see the porch light come on. And you'll see the porch light come on, go off, come back on. Uh, the car alarm go off uh, for this, this person's car. Um, now, I will just say, 
we don't really, they don't know this neighbor. He's not lived there, but just a couple years, he stays to himself. My parents stay to themselves. Um, they've never even talked. I think they've even seen, only seen him like once or twice. So this gentleman, um, we're going to just call him Hatchet Jack and you're going to see why in the video as time goes on. And I'll show you the picture of what he left in the yard of my parents. And it's really scary because this could happen to anyone. Um, and no one deserves it. They don't deserve to be talked to like my, my parents have been in any of the vehicle, the videos, um, or to be treated the way they do. They do not bother their neighbors. They have nothing to do with them. They leave them alone. And that's all they're asking is just to be left alone. Um, and this isn't just isolated to them. I mean, there's videos out there of a lot of people having problems. And whether they're catching it on their own surveillance cameras or whether they're catching it on a door ring uh, camera or something else. I'm like, I've had to put up surveillance cameras at my own home because somebody was bro broke into my house. They crawled across my back fence and came in my back door. I have three large dogs and they still broke into my home. I mean, thankfully I wasn't here and thankfully, you know, they really didn't get much, but we had to put cameras up. We live in, we live in the country off of a main highway and I'm telling you, we get weird people out here. Um, so, you know, it's not, it's not their fault that other people have bad behavior. Um, but hopefully it kind of gives you guys a little more insight into my relationship with the people, the older couple in the video. Um, some more background kind of on what's going on and I'm going to go ahead and get you guys started, watch it through to the end. Um, and, uh, you know, leave a comment, leave a like, share it, subscribe. That would be great. Um, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.